techno music though. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another episode of the Roughneck to Real Estate Podcast. Today we've got our fearless host, the motherfucker of mobile homes, Corey Thompson, and our friend Chris Chavez. They'll be talking about automation software and helping you get results. But first, our theme song. He's the motherfucker of mobile homes. He's the motherfucker of mobile homes. The best in Texas. They can hear us though whenever we talk so a, a little bit they can yeah. hear you because we are live take it away boys <laughs> hey. oh my God. what's up chris hey Corey. Hey. check it out i love it dude i'm really that is awesome it. robin robin got these made but then she walked off you know what's great is you're showing me something and people are going to be tuning in to listen they're going what in the world are they looking at so i'm going to describe it as this probably the coolest thing you could hold in your hand ever that's it. Like, and and Pat Hilton's probably going to have them for sale here pretty soon. So, where's the, where's the store, Pat? Where are we going to have this? Where are we going to have this merchandise available at? Is it going to be roughneckrealestate.com? Nobody can hear you. <laughs> We're building our Shopify platform out right now. I've got the microphone muted because this this baby's going crazy, y'all. Woo! Okay. Oh, We'll have that coming soon. Chris, tell us a little bit about your business. Tell us what you do. Tell us about automation. Uh, we were talking before we got on 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 live here, and I was telling you I have no idea what the fuck any of this shit is. So so break it down for us. Tell us exactly what it is and 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 what we need to do with it. Yeah, great. So uh, REI Results Automation Software is it's a program that we're doing. The, the way we've got it set up now, it's a program. It's a four week class. But what it does is it helps you generate leads by utilizing the largest platform on the planet, and that's Facebook, the social media platform. Uh, that's Facebook. And the reason why we, why I've honed in on it and put so much time and resources into it is because there's people there. And when you have people, you've got an audience. And because of the diversity of the people on Facebook, um, we're able to put a message out there in front of them that... Uh, increases our opportunities to generate a lead. So what we do is we post inside of certain Facebook groups. We post a certain script. Um, we stay away from we buy houses. Now, I know that still works. I'm not dogging that. But this is more of a personal approach, kind of like, hey, Corey, uh, this is from Corey, you know, like, hey, what's up? I'm buying houses. X, Y, Z, fill in the blanks. Right. Um so you put your post out, people respond, and that's the thing. Uh, one of the things I'm really big on in this whole class is what I teach you is how to write a really compelling uh, post. And to do that, you really got to put some of your own language behind it. Make it sound, sound real. real. So, so is this you, from your personal Facebook? Like, So this would be off my Corey Thompson Facebook that we would set this up on? That's the best way to go about it, yeah, because that way your notifications, when, when the software, you schedule the software to post for you at certain groups, certain messages, posts out there on Facebook, whenever they respond, the notifications are going to come into your, your, your notifications on Facebook. Right. Um, so, and if they message you, you're going to get a message on Facebook Messenger. So it, it feeds all that info into you. And then the so, cool thing, that's awesome, let me is i'm a bad guest when people are hosting me on the show so I'll <laughs> it's all right just keep going How uh, what i was going to say is better than a skip trace lead and because you got their facebook profile i mean basically you're in their house right already. Well, well like so for me like my facebook is my personal facebook i don't do much we buy houses off of it anymore because 
Um, my sellers were finding me, my marketing, my backside marketing, like I would drop a letter in a mailbox or something. Yeah. And then angry Susie would come onto my Facebook and then she would see the money we're making or whatever. And then it, it was kind of like a backlash. So do you coach people on changing up their Facebook and the way they post checks and like all of that sort of stuff? Because if I'm, if I'm in a Facebook group and I'm offering to buy houses and then on my same Facebook page, I'm posting a $50,000 check and bragging about the money I just made. Is it kind of counterproductive or, I mean, is that something you've thought about or something you do? There, Yeah. And let me go into something you said like months ago, man, that we didn't even, you didn't even, we didn't even know about each other then. I knew about you kind of, you said something that I've implemented in my business. So this, this is big. This is really big awesome. because you said Facebook, does it? Yeah. The image is important. I mean, the first video I dropped in the class yesterday was about, is your Facebook page or profile compelling? Does it build trust? When somebody looks at it, do they look at somebody that's like, oh, cool, they look like they got the crap together, they can help me buy or buy my house from me or help me in my situation? Or does it look like, or does it look like you're just uh, not that Other trusting? Right. right, so I just said compelling Facebook uh, profile picture. But at the same time, you can go out there and create a second profile um, maybe make some changes to a few things. You can buy um, aged profiles. There, that's not a secret. You, you can go on Facebook, Google it, and you can find it. But one of the things that you said a while back, man, that I've told my students is that, and then I even credit it for to you for that, is that you can't get anywhere in this business under a false name. Do you remember saying that? Oh yeah, no, I remember it. Like you can't, you can't, you can't fake it. Like that whole fake it till you make it thing, it doesn't work. If you're more transparent with your seller um, or with anybody, you're going to get further because eventually they're going to smell the bullshit, and you know at that point the gig is up. You know what I mean? And and if you're living in that lie, it's kind of like running around on your old lady. You know what I mean? Now you're living this lie. And you got to keep up with it and you got to keep up with your versions of it. I've talked about this. I've never talked about it on the podcast, but back in my hoe days, I had like five girlfriends. And so the way I would balance that, I would get caught up in lies all the time. And so I would just tell the same lies to all five. So if I'm, if I'm out buying houses, I mean, not to refer this back to my hoe days, but you got to tell the same, if you're, if you're, you got to have a script. In other words, you got to have Hey, you know, it is, and it, and the script needs to be based off the truth. It doesn't need to be, you know, I have to spice it up. Like for me, it's me and my daughter, we're out here making money. This is how I feed her. I have to buy these houses. It's never my own money. You know, I always say, Hey, look, I've got investors that I work with and I'm just really transparent about the whole process during the negotiation process. I'd never go in to wholesale a home and say, Oh man, you know, I'm going to buy this house. And I know that I'm going to wholesale it. I always counter that with, you know, I've got investors that I work with. They're going to bring the money. I bring the deal. Uh, we're partners on it. Is it the whole truth? No, not really. But it's way better than the lie that people say, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy your house and we'll pay cash and we'll be done with this in two weeks. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I know you've heard that message from me before. So, yeah. But I just want to put it out there on the podcast. So in, in this, whenever, whenever you're doing it, like right now, you know, I run Roughneck Real Estate, the group. I just put up a, uh, a the questions. I did it as a joke, but what I've learned is phenomenal. I had no idea how many bots or automation, I guess, was coming into the group, but it's really obvious when they come in because the last question is where she at though? <laughs> like, you know, it's like a, it's just funny. And the first one's, do you know Crystal Methany? So when they come in, it's like, yes, no, yes, or no, yes, no. You know what I mean? And I'm like, well, that last answer don't match. You know what I mean? That last answer isn't a place. Right. It doesn't you know, flow. A lot of people yeah. would throw a question mark or, 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 you know, like, I don't know, like, why are you asking? Or, or one girl said Maine, so I added her. I don't know. Shout out to the girl in Maine. I hope you're watching. But the thing about it was, it was like, now I know, like, now I, now I see when the automation's coming in. Do y'all, do you, does your automation join groups for you or do you, do you have to do that yourself? Like where does it start and end at? Yeah. So there's a, there's all, every time we talk to somebody because I went out there and like did the whole Chris Botman Chavez. Um, I, mean, I was like, I started tagging you and stuff. I was like, Hey, this guy well, can do bots. Yeah. And I can. And, and messenger bots and stuff like that are nice when you are ready to scale. But if your copy and script and flow isn't, 
good, then you can tell you're definitely talking to a bot. But when you're when you're in our software and you're scheduling out for your uh, into these uh, groups, like garage sale groups, swap and yeah, swap no, groups, swap and shop. When, swap when you're posting, track. yeah, you want it to sound like you, man. I mean, I'm we're big. Like we're gonna dump 300 scripts. Here, I'm fixing to dump, we're dumping 300 scripts that you can copy and paste. And that's, you know, 10 scripts per day for 30 days for a whole month. Um, that's, that's 300 scripts that are very unique that don't say anything about, they say we buy houses, but they, it says it in different ways. And that's where we kind of get around from looking and sounding like a bot is because the scripts are very, um, very personal and kind right. of... I've seen I've seen some I've seen uh, I've seen other investors use use not I don't know if they're using scripts or bots but I've seen them where they go in and post and say hey look I'm moving to the area right uh, I'm looking That's I'm looking one. to buy a house and pay cash um, that one that I've seen that one my personal favorite this one isn't you can you can take it put it in your scripts because it like look I don't know how this works on automation but I know how it works on Corymation <laughs> I went into a buy sell trade group and I started bitching about my neighbors. And they're trashy ass houses. Okay. Uh -huh. And I was like, these motherfuckers are loud, this and that. I'm going to the city to complain <laughs> right now. And if y'all got anybody that's pissing you off with their trashy ass houses, I need to know about them so I can put the word into the city with you. Yeah, I could put that under the Corey Thompson category. Dude, it, but, they... dude, it like, do you know how people love drama? Like, they Whoa. love drama. They want to shit on somebody so bad. I know the dramas. A drama feeds. We we want to see more of it for some stupid reason. We just it feels good to see somebody go through some crap. I did a live video the other day on Facebook, and I just put uh, "busted for fraud," and I was talking about the automation class and everything, but yeah. really the "busted for fraud" was that I spent hundreds of dollars on these crankbait lures that don't work. And I went and spent a few dollars on these little cheap lures, and I was catching more fish. Anyways, that heading got me. I was like 34 people plus in the what? in my watching. live watching. As soon as I kind of like dished out that, hey, so this ain't no fraud, and I kind of like let it go, I went down to five people. Right. They were waiting for the punchline. They were waiting for the drama. They, they were, were just like, like, tell me more about yeah. it. And I kind of built it up. I'm not going to lie, man. I was building it up like, yeah, my me my friend just messaged me. And the the real fraud was that, the, the I guess where I was going with that is that he had generated in, in two weeks, and I got proof of his, he sent me a message. In two weeks, he had generated 30 leads using our program. Before the program, he was about to quit, bro. Like he was done. He was ready to like, this is my last chance. If right. this doesn't work, I'm out. I'm going to go back to work. Uh, two weeks in, dude, he's like, boom, man, just changed my life. And uh, he's down there in Bryan College Station where it's really, really hard. So, you know, it changed his life dramatically. And that uh, that was the fraud that I was kind of going into is that he had spent hundreds, not hundreds, I would say probably he, he, five he did, figures. He did, o, he did OTC's program. I've, I think I've talked to the guy. He, he's reached out to me before he um, yeah. paid that guru out in Florida. I won't yeah. mention his name cause I'm not yeah. going to shine a light on him to teach him direct mail. And anyways, I mean it, cause you know, we do ringless voicemail, ringless voicemail is whatever. Um, but you know, I, people ask me all the time, where do you get your leads? And I'm like the swapping shops are like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, it's like a white trash wedding. You can go in there and buy like discounted diapers, a stolen bicycle, or you can buy a house. You know what I mean? Like we, we do a lot of business in those. Um, in the marketplace, you know, the, and having it set up to where it's automated makes a lot more sense than the way I did it. So what has kind of been some of the kickback from like when you do it automated do, cause these admins, they end up in charge of groups that got 50, 60,000 people in them, but they're not very, they're, they're like, it's like Nazi Germany in there. They think, they think they rule. And like, if you post this or you post that, like I get kicked out of them all the time because yeah. I'm, you. you know, and it's not self promotion or anything like that. Like I literally have posted houses for rent and been kicked out of groups or posted owner finance because I put the link to our website in there. So, I mean, do y'all, do you, do you talk about that a little bit? Like, how does, how does that stuff work? Like, how do you, how do you avoid getting kicked out of these groups like that? 
Yeah, so one of the first things you want to do, this is a trick and tip of uh, inside the class is, hey, don't post your URL in your in your posts anymore. Uh, that's that's Facebook will remove it or flag it for them. So if you want to put your URL in here in the in your posts, you comment your URL and it just increases your engagement exposure. Uh, plus, you could do that with automation software. You can auto comment on all your posts. Now, how to handle the Facebook admins? Uh, they, they now have rules. It's like equal housing lender. Like they have to follow these rules. They can't just be, like you said, Nazis and uh, do whatever the heck they want. They actually have to be, uh, they have to follow these community standards. Now, is Facebook <laughs> police out there going, hey, are you doing this? Hey, I'm. Like I don't think they're they're not putting the the, the the finger down on it right now, but they did put it out there saying this is something that is going to happen, and they've already started to implement that. So um, you still have some kind of you have rights, I guess you would say. But the first thing I do, man, is if it's a group with a lot of people in it, you know, fifty thousand people is a lot of people, and you can see in a lot of these groups that you know fifty thousand, they've got maybe eighteen, twenty thousand posts per day. Um, that are just, you'll just get buried. Right. And it's almost like it didn't even, like you went out there and your message is out there. And in those larger groups, you can post uh, more than once in a shorter period. Um, all those details are really where I put my time in my math, science, whatever you want to call research into the classes to find out how to, what specific distance you want to do between all that. But go in and message the admins and say, hey, check this out. This is the business I'm in. This is how I generate leads. This is how I put money on my table. You guys are selling washers and dryers and lawnmowers or whatever. And right. um, that's how they're making money. They're actually putting food on their table. This is how I do mine. If you respect that, I would, you know, that'd be great if that's, I could be on the show. The, that's not the groups that I'm in. The groups that I am say no businesses in all caps. And as soon as they figure out your business, it don't, it, it, you know, is renting a house a business? You know, it's debatable, right? It, I mean, we run it like a business, obviously. But when you're posting it in a buy sell trade group, it's not like I'm trying to get somebody to come into my body shop. You know what I mean? I'm, well, it's I'm, personal. The, the approach we go is personal. It's like, right. hey, it's, hey, this is Corey. I'm driving around, fixing to leave the house, going to drive around the neighborhood, see if there's any houses that need fixing up. Because if you know of one, let me know. If you got one in your neighborhood that's just hideous. Correct. And and that's what and that's what I was wanting to wanting trying to see if you if you've thought of that because. I mean, look, if you go out and you make a and you make an ad copy that says I buy houses or you say anything about a business or you say anything about that, these asshole admins are going to kick you out. Like I, I know when I started doing this in 2015, we bought a lot of houses from these swap and shop groups in 2015. We came up with this process where we hired somebody. You know, obviously we didn't know about bots or automation or any of that. So we hired somebody to do um, everything that that we wanted them to do we had somebody just sit there in front of the computer and post in these groups post on craigslist and do all that stuff because we didn't know anything about automation what happened that person got kicked out of every group uh the other investors would flag their stuff on craigslist so you would you would be off the front page so we had to have like 47 email accounts to to even keep a craigslist ad up um we had to have 37 um people as as a uh to get into Facebook groups to keep it going. And we ended up finding that, look, you know, obviously if we could have automated it, it would have been a lot better, but you know, it was no longer um, good for us to pay somebody to do that all day. Um, when literally, uh, you know, all it was doing was, was, was kind of chasing our tail, but we were posting that, that shit ad copy of we buy houses, fast cash, any condition, here's our website. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the stuff. Yeah. Like if you're going to, Post, you might as well have just said you were into Forex trading and Bitcoin or whatever. Because uh, those are the things that, like, there's, we've got filters in our brain. When we see certain things, it's automatically, nah. Right. I'm out. Well, and, and, you, and I've read a good book. It's called Pitch Anything. And the reason why is that your, your, every, all of your uh, communication goes through your crock brain, your most basic brain. 
the brain that still hasn't evolved. So you're really technical in your decision making, but everything goes through the croc brain. And if the croc brain smells fear or thinks that they're going to get gypped or thinks that it's going to be a scam, it never makes it to your analytical brain. It, it says, nope, run. It's that natural instinct. Your croc brain is why you flinch when something tries to hit you. Right. You know, I mean? you don't even have to think about it. And that's the same thing that you're talking about. So in any pitch, you got to pitch the croc brain. you got to make it really simple and warm. Um, and, and it's a great book. It's called Pitch Anything. I don't know if you've listened to it or read it, but that'll be my, my book of the day. That'll be my value drop. So in the automation, like you, you've got the class, it's four weeks long. Um, what all are you teaching? You're teaching, you're giving them bots to get, get them set up or, or you're giving them automation to get them set up. What, what all does, do you teach them how to do that themselves? Or are you giving it to them? What's all in there? Yeah, so the four-week course started, we, we, it's four weeks. On Mondays, we do a, a live, I mean, not, not live. On Mondays, we drop a training video. And then on Thursdays, we have a live Q&A. That's everybody in the class gets together and we collaborate, brainstorm, and, and chat about the video that we dropped on Monday. And that's where a lot of like aha moments are created. So that's a really powerful day. The tra training video key because um, that's you know, obviously that's the training part. So we do that for four weeks. So week one is fundamentals on just the basics of, of you know, what, where we're posting and what we're posting. Okay. And then we get those fundamentals down, right? You know, you gotta go through some practice and stuff before you hit the field in football. So that's what we're doing in fundamentals. And then week two, we go into the actual software itself. And then with the software, that's where, it, 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 that's where we scale this. Because in week one, you can already start posting. I tell you to go manually post XYZ scripts that are available and do it this many times per day and just push it. Get involved. Because if you're going to make get make deals off this and these are free leads, I want I really am asking for a commitment. I want, I'm asking you to immerse yourself into this because if this could be something that's taking your lead cost down from 2,500 down to maybe a few hundred with your other marketing, because this is totally free. Right. But um, we well, we go into fundamentals and we go over the whole software and everything in week two. Week three, we talk about websites, funnels, and phone numbers, why that's important. And, and then week four, we have a, a long Q&A wrap up. And inside of that, we go into a lot of different things. I talk about how you know, these leads are, are, are very fresh. And when I say fresh, they're hot and they're inbound, they're coming to you. And nine times out of 10, you're the only person that they've talked to. And that's that comes with a lot of power, Corey, because if you're the only person that's talked to this person, they never even heard of this kind of concept. They don't even know, they, they're, they've lost hope and give, gave up hope. They don't look at their house as an investment. They look at it as a nuisance. They need to get away. Right. And you come in as this like shining hero and you're like, yeah, check this out. And then you offer them some money that comes with a lot of power. Uh, so you have to be careful with that. And we talk a little bit about that because it's, it's, it is you. And I know you've experienced this. You talk to somebody that hasn't received a phone call, a yellow letter or any type of mailers or any other marketing. They're just like, oh, wow, I didn't even know anyone was out there that did this. Um, I'm sure you have. Um, or, oh, yeah. Or, no, that I, I call them the difference between those two for me is sophisticated and unsophisticated. Now, this person might be sophisticated. They might not. But the deal is like the reason why I like Bandit Side Lead so much is because they're hot. They're incoming. They call me. And typically, I'm the only person talking to them. And if you're desperate enough to call somebody off of a sign you've seen on the side of the road, you're probably not a sophisticated seller. Um, which means my negotiation is not a negotiation. It's how much do you want for this property? They severely undervalue it because of all the reasons you just said. It's a nuisance. They don't want it. They're tired of it. They give me a price and I pay them that price. And there's no, you know, I don't have to sit here and feel bad that I just robbed grandma out of her house because I paid her exactly what she wanted for her house. Does that make sense? So, yeah. you know, and, and then on this, you I mean, did the like, right thing, right? I did the right thing. I mean, like people are like, oh, how's your negotiation? Well, I have a number that I can pay for it and I can explain to you why I can only pay that for it. And I'm really honest about it because I'm here to make money and feed my daughter. Um, if they don't like that number, I don't I don't screw on them. You know what I mean? I don't I don't grind on them like there's nothing about it. You know, we just did a deal where they wanted 300,000 and we offered them 150 because that's all we could pay for it. Not because um, it wasn't worth more because that's all the money we had. 
And they said, yes. And, and we straight up told them, we can only offer you 150 because that's all the money we got. And they said, okay, we'll take it. And that was it. You know what I mean? So it's, it's something that, that, you know, here you say that, that you go into the power and the dynamics of, of the person that you're negotiating with and kind of getting them to guard against it. Um, that's, that's really, that's a really good part of the training. I think that's really important for people to understand because, you know, at the end of this, you don't want to be so short-sighted that you are robbing grandma of her house, you know, because you've, you're taking just out there taking advantage of people. You don't need to, you don't need that on your conscience. You don't need that in your business. You don't need that around. Um, Pat, right. you're looking around where you at? We got any questions? Can you scroll through and see if they got any question, questions for Chris? I haven't I seen I'm any good. questions, but boy, baby Ella gets feisty during these morning episodes. Real <laughs> feisty. Good Lord. Uh, no, no just a couple eggplants from Jawad. <laughs> Thanks, Jawad. Appreciate it. We we love Jawad. What uh? So what else? What else you got? Like what else? Um, what market are you in? First off, because I don't I don't know much about where where. I mean, I know that uh, Sarah's out in Tyler because I met Sarah. Uh, mm -hmm. Where are you? Where are you located? Yeah, man, I'm in West Texas. I'm over here in San Angelo. In San Angelo, how's how's the San Angelo real estate market? It's, um. San Angelo is a beautiful town. For those of you watching, I love this town. <laughs> but uh, it's not it's not the greatest. It's it's tough. And uh, I mean, there's probably of the people I know that I mingle with in in wholesaling and investing, there's probably you know four four active people in this community. There's a lot of like fly by night guys that come in, they watch the course, they don't try it and didn't work out for them in the first week. So they quit, but it's, it's different, man. Now here's the change. Here's the change. Our lake levels were around five, 6% over the last few months. We've turned into a swamp, man. I mean, you come gator hunting over here. It is the lakes have risen 30 something feet, 50%. Now, why is that important? That's what this town is all about, water. There's lakes and rivers all around this place to go play on water and go fishing and hunting and all that. So that right there has changed the has changed properties. That's changed your dock from sitting on the ground to floating now. And yeah. they're controlling that. And with that, I mean, that just drives tourist economy up and oh, yeah. more people desire to have vacation homes here and live here um it's it's different it's different now so what it was a few months ago it is just just, just add water man it is a totally different real estate I, business now i made the biggest business mistake i've ever made in san angelo texas and it's a it's an interesting story i'm just gonna go ahead and tell it because i don't give a fuck i had loaned my buddy some money for his race car and he he didn't pay me back, so I was like, "Look, I'm selling your fucking race car, so I put it on Craigslist." All right, so I think I loaned him nine thousand. I put it out there for ninety five hundred and offered to deliver it. So a guy messaged me he's from San Angelo. Yeah, bro, I want the car. It looks good. Bring it out here. So I pack up the car, I put it on trailer. I head to San Angelo. I get to San Angelo. We got mud butt along the way. Had to check into a uh, um, the hospital emergency room. My old lady. Um, got sick. She ate some raw stuff at, um, at Cracker Barrel. So we lost a day. That's really irrelevant to the story, but it's fun to say. So I just put it, threw it out there. So anyways, we get, we get to San Angelo, the guy shows up and he's got this, all this paperwork drawn up and he's got a patent and he's saying, he's like, look, I'm refinancing my house right now. And I'm taking the money that I'm refinancing my house and I'm putting it into this business right here. Okay. And anyways, so I can take some of the money from the refi of my house and I can pay mm -hmm. you for the car or I can give you 20% of the business for mm -hmm. the car. Now I own the car free and clear. The money was already gone and I didn't need the money. Like I had no desire to need the money. So I'm like, all right, cool. What's the business vibrating cock rings? I shit you not. It like turn your own human dick into like the rabbit type dildo. Like that's that invention. He had the diagram, the drawing, like the whole deal right there in front of me. And I'm looking at it going, I mean, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> I, really thought, 
I really want this nine thousand dollars. You know what I mean? So just pay me, just write me a check and let me know when the refi goes through and I'll cash the check because I'm not driving back home with this race car. And he's like, All right, bro. And I'd never seen him before or anything. And I don't know if the guy is the guy that's behind it, but now like I've actually I had to go back like once once I got into business, I had to go back and like Google it and make sure that these things exist. And they do. They are everywhere. I'm like, I'd be a multimillionaire right now because of that little fucking vibrating cock ring that I turned down for a race car in San Angelo, Texas. So that's that's everything. I'm, that's the only time I think I've ever been to San Angelo. But I, how many people are there? Is it a pretty big market or it, no? It's less than 100,000. When, when the school, uh, when ASU's in, uh, Angelo State University, right. it's, man, I think it jumps up maybe 15,000. In the t in the town, like in the university itself, I know they have more, but uh, in the dorms, but in the town, I think maybe I would say around maybe fifteen thousand uh, well, properties or. I dude, I love that place. Now, now here's the thing, and this is, I mean, I'm getting way off. We're getting way off of automation, but I just like talking real estate. The the we're buying a, a apartment complex and thirty something houses in a town called Coleman, Texas, which is probably directly north of there. Yeah, I know where that's and, at. I had a, a gentleman, he's from California. He was looking at it and he couldn't buy it. He actually moved to Coleman to try to make it work. And this is, th I mean, straight up, he's like, I have no idea. Those houses are terrible. What are you going to do with those houses? And I said, we're going to owner finance them. And he said, what? And I said, we're going to owner finance them. And he's like, well, the city's making everybody improve their electrical and all this kind of stuff. And I said, yeah, and the owners can do that work. They don't have to hire a licensed person to do it. And he's like, dude, if I'd have known that, y'all wouldn't be buying this. I would be buying it. So it the owner finance strategy in, in every single market, and especially a market like San Angelo, where there's going to be a lot of people, if you if you sh can shift that lens and get other investors to realize that, dude, you can you can wholesale a lot more properties that way. I mean, it it, it works in every single size town in every market. I don't care. It'll blow your business up. We're buying those houses for sixty eight hundred dollars a piece. Um, and we're, all we got to do is owner finance them for what, 14,000 to double our equity. I mean, yeah. how hard is it to owner finance a bunch of houses uh, for 14,000 bucks? When you look at a small town, you're thinking, man, there's not a whole lot of opportunity here. Like I don't want to even invest any time in it. And then when you look at it, your perspective on the owner financing side, there are hundreds of people in that town who wish they could own a house because they want to live there, but they just can't get a bank. I mean, he's can't working at, I mean, he's probably worked at the, um, uh, He's worked at the sand loading facility there at the rail car for fracking for six well, years now. Yeah, no, yeah, it's exactly right. He's and, got the income. He's got the consistency. He just doesn't have the credit. And you give him that opportunity, there's lo the locals will take over. I'm from Jal, and you know where that's at. I do New not. Me Jal, New Mexico. Oh, okay. So that's what that town was pretty much built on. I mean, there's those people that went in and did that, like, that's how they made all their money. Oh, is dude. they yeah. had time and they made they made the money. And that town only had like two thousand people in it. One of the they most made a fortune, millionaires in that town. One of the most interesting things when we got started in this was the all the attorneys in town. Every single attorney in in this small town that I live in, you know, they make a de decent living for small town, but they own, I mean, they I bet you they own hundreds of notes each hundreds of notes each and how well they've you know bonded people out of jail and ended up with their house they bought their house <laughs> they've they've been you know they understand the lien process so they've yeah. they've come across some of them in ways that we don't come across them right but all they do is turn around and owner finance it and draw a dividend on it they don't want to do property management they don't want right. to have to fix tenant or deal with tenants and toilets so they end up with all these properties and that's their wealth i mean you know, it's and if you pay attention to those guys, I mean, obviously in small towns, you know, people are still there with money. And if you see what they're doing to invest their money, I guarantee you they have owner finance notes in their portfolio or rentals of some kind. And you just follow that pattern. Look, hey, if if this man set up a business here, planted roots here, he's smart. You know, he knows what he's doing. He's he's here in town. What's he doing? What's he doing to grow his money? How's he investing it? And if you follow their same pattern, you're going to you're going to hit. So. Um, how does people, how do people get involved in your training? How do they get the bot man going? Because the, I'm going to tell you the swap and shop hustle in the smaller markets is beautiful. Like you can, I mean, you can make a ton of money doing it, especially with the owner financing your back pocket. Yeah. Um, having those skills are, are, I feel like there's two levels and 
there's an investor who's experienced and has the knowledge that you have. And then there's, there's the new guy who, who wants to learn all this stuff. But right now we're just focused on just like, let's just get a lead. I just want to close my first deal or, you know, I just need to create consistency or, you know, I'm struggling with lead flow. So I don't have the opportunity to have these awesome creative financing um, conversation opportunities. Right. And so it's I, for, it's for different there. levels. Huh? If you want to get around a guy like me or a guy like Scott Horn, the number one way to get around to anybody like that is with a lead. Like that, you know, when you say there's the two level system, like lead gen is number one. Everybody wants a buyer first for their property. Fuck a buyer, find me a lead and then I'll be your buyer. Right. Cause maybe you can add to this. If the deal is freaking, if the deal is awesome, they'll call them. I know investors that have, that weren't even investors. They just come out from under rocks. They're like, Hey, I saw your deal. I want to buy it. That's and with the software we schedule us uh, we we scale this to the fact uh, to the to the the, like, the point to the point where it's running 24 hours a day. I mean, so at all hours of the night, over a good month or two, you're gonna find out what's the best time for your posts that, that you're gonna get the results, and so that's that's really exciting in 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 that it does it for you all day like that right. so and when you're able to do that you can find your leads now when you find your leads and you have a contract locked down you can turn around and use the same software to find buyers now are buyers at a specific time just like sellers we don't know so we put it out the same way in a 24-hour period throughout the day two in the morning four in the afternoon 10 o'clock at night whenever um, they'll be reaching out to you and that's, that's a great way to build your buyers list really quickly. Um, yeah, obviously you need to vet them cause everybody's a buyer, but the, um, They're daisy that's, <laughs> that's the cool thing that you can use with the software. You can go back and forth. So how do you, how do you get involved? You can still get involved in the class we've got going on now. Right. Um, uh, you have until pretty much tomorrow and then it's cut off. Um, because once we do the live Q and A for the first week, um, what it, just, well, just but this is going to live on the internet forever. So I mean, this is like this class right here is is this class. But what what's what's your website? Where do where do people find you? Okay, well they can go to um, there. There will be a link called it's leadgenerationfreedom.com. Okay. If you can't find me there, which that that's. That's the, the lead gen class. You can go to reiresultsautomation.com. Okay. And that's where the actual software is. You can look me up on Facebook. My name is Chris Chavez. You can email me at reiresultsautomation at gmail.com. And that's going to be the best way to get a hold of me. And my um, I won't drop a number because... Um, yeah, it could be bad. It I mean, could you be a bad yourself. number. Yeah. yeah, look, I'm doxxed right now. Somebody's calling me. And, it, and I got to use my, like Jawad always says, he just sees me with my fork ignoring calls, but I'm using my key today. So, yeah, so the, all right, what, I don't, I don't lost my complete Oh, here, I ahead. think this is where you're going. We have a digital product coming out. It's going to have 18 plus training videos breaking down the entire system, learn at your own pace. And that's going to be in the leadgenerationfreedom.com website. And this course is a digital course that you can learn everything that we're doing in the live live class at your own pace. Obviously, that makes sense, a digital course. But we break it down just like week one, week two, week three. And then we'll be plugging in some of the Q&As as bonus videos or, or, or sound clips into the uh, training. And that'll be into a membership area. So once you get in, then uh, from there you can log in, go into the membership areas, watch the videos at your own right. pace. So that's going to be like the automated system and uh, the, the the way you could do it uh, on your own. And I'm actually working on that as like literally I'm, I've got I've got everything here that I'm I'm putting together. Well, you can I, use this, but you can use this if you're a plumber. You can use this if you're an electrician. Oh, you can use this if services, you're a contractor. Yes. You can you can use this if you're anybody. 
Um, the other thing you can do is if you're me and I'm not fucking with this, like, but I can hire somebody and she's going to be hot and her Facebook is going to be like popping and dudes are going to want to slide in her DMs anyways and be like, all right, here's your job. Your job is to run this automation system and have lead gen and, you know, and then we can do multiple markets, uh, virtual assistant type stuff. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the scalability of this, at least from my side of things, whenever I think about it, I'm like, look, it don't matter if you're at the top level or the bottom level. If, if you can't sit here and see how Facebook groups and everything else um, with a bot running that or automation running that, um, I don't know. I ain't got nothing for you. You know what I mean? Like, because I can already visualize me hiring um, one of those chicks that's on my, my um, food post, <laughs> like be like, hey. You want to make some extra money? Let me set this up on your profile, answer some questions, and and uh, run this system for me, and we'll split all the leads with you. And then they're making they're making a pile of cash and not having to do much for it. And if they've never done this, or if they have done this, this should get them excited. So if you're joining the groups in the software, we can you can find groups by size. So let's say you're you're doing a minimum of ten thousand groups per people, or, or people per group, ten thousand minimum and you're posting into 10 different groups that day, 10,000 people times 10, that's 100,000 people that you're, that you're going to potentially reach. And that's just in one day. So when you bring in somebody like that, you look, look, this is going to reach a lot of people. The opportunities are going to be there for you to be successful. So uh, if you did that over a five-day period, it's over right. half a million people. True. Yeah, and no, yeah. And, but, you know, pretty, and... and People, people jump in at different times and need to sell their house. Um, you know, there's the, the cost of a lead, you know, might not have a monetary cost, but for me, um, I need laydowns. I need people that need to sell, need to sell now. Right. I don't need tire kickers that are just trying to figure out how much their house is worth. Now, they all come in. They all come in and they all get put into follow-ups and everything else. You have to right. build out your CRM in the back end. You have to understand how to do it. But the new guy that, that can do this, there's nothing better for the new guy because he has nothing but time. That's the value that he brings is that he has a bunch of time that he doesn't have a lot on his plate and that he can sort through and he needs to learn the difference between a laydown or whatever. Me, if I, if I fired up this system, it would be a time vampire for me personally, which is why I would hire somebody 60 else. 60 minutes, Corey, 60 minutes. I, in the class, I, I call it the 60 minute challenge In 60 minutes. You can schedule out your, a week's worth of advertising. In the class, you do five days straight of, of of scheduling, so five weeks in advance, so you're staying ahead. Right, but it, let me let me if it produces a thousand leads, a thousand leads. It now bugs, I, yeah. now now I have to go through all those thousand leads and figure out who's a laydown and who's not. I don't I don't have that time kind of time on my hands. Like I've like I just don't have it. You know, I'm getting I'm getting bids. I'm meeting with cities. I'm doing things at the whole whole next level. Now, I'm not saying I can't hire somebody to do that, and that's right. exactly the point that I'm trying to make. There's nothing better for this for the new guy because these are good. Uh, you need to run through all that stuff. For me, like I would still I would still want to know the technology, but I would want to know it so I could teach my employees and have them run it, teach teach our acquisition guys so they can they can run it or get them involved in the class. Like I see the value. I see the value of 110%. But me, um, I'm like, man, I'm about to have a side by side and that's going to rob a lot of time that I could do, um, you know, running leads on the, on the, on the bots. Cause I mean, we're literally down. I mean, I'm not already on a side by side. I don't even know. It's 10 o'clock. I got 45 minutes to get there and I ain't got a truck. So I might have to hitchhike, but anyways, so what, uh, what else, what else, um, you got any last words, Pat, do we have any questions? Anybody come in since we've been, been on here? I think Pat's daydreaming about surfing in the ocean <laughs> he's definitely not listening to us here he comes pat we got any questions that you've seen come through he's like thinking about it solid maybe there's more eggplants you were talking about the, like somebody who's fairly new or somebody that's been in it in a while and to level up to another another level <clears throat> is the conversations that's huge right there because if you're not having enough then your closing and your selling ratio is not going to be that great and this 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 will give you hope this will give you those opportunities to have those conversations and then now you can participate in 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 
in these groups where people are talking about all these different things that you're like, what in the world? No, nope, like, like, I wish I was having those conversations. And then 6,000%. Yeah. And then you go from those conversations to um, now you have now you have problems in this business where when you feel you're successful as you've got a lot going on. Well, and you said something about this, I think, yesterday about activity or something. I got people. Well, and that's that's one of the things that whenever I whenever I talk about it, like I have to make times to do do new things. But I'm not. I can't even sit down and listen to new podcasts. This is just my own disease that I have. If I sit down and listen to a podcast and somebody's talking about investing in buffalo ranches, guess what the fuck I'm going to start focusing on? Investing in buffalo ranches. I'm going to start taking action on it because I think it's a cool idea. It's going to rob away from the things that I already have in my pipeline that that need my attention. Which is then, you know, my partners look up and they're like, "Where's Corey?" And he's like, "He's out on a buffalo ranch. He's on this buffalo ranch kick." Just don't even ask about it. They're like, well, what, what's the status of the Coleman apartment complex? We don't have a clue because Corey's out on a buffalo ranch. You know what I mean? He's out like, there deer spooning or something. Yeah, he's, you know what I mean? It's like, what, what? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a thing where for me, like, you know, I'm an action taker and I want, I want to know more about this and I want to get involved, but I want to hire somebody to do it for me or get, get somebody that's already in our office to start running it because it's something that I think is great and I think it's wonderful. And I think what you said about getting to have those conversations is 100% correct because believe me, when you come up with it, when, when somebody gets an automated apartment complex or mobile home park and they're like, Hey Corey, I just ran this deal in this group and this guy wants to sell his mobile home park and he only wants a hundred thousand dollars for it. I'm like, well, how many units is it? And like 50, but me, me and that guy are going to meet. We're going to, we're going to meet in probably a short amount of time at a mobile home park. Yeah wherever the hell it is in Texas, because that that's going to be worth me setting something across my side and say, look, I got to go look at this. There's, there's a million dollars on the table out in San Angelo or out in BFE or wherever, wherever it's at. So I'm going to be running towards it. So, um, Botman, I've got to go. Um, I know you don't like that name anymore. You, it's REI automation, 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 automation. automation. Uh, well, I think it's because I started calling everybody a porn bot. I think I ruined the name bot, like spam bot yeah. lenders. Pat dropped me a song that was freaking killer. Yeah, about I was going to say, why don't we tune everybody out with the REI automation software song? Guys, his page is tagged in the description so you can easily find it. Sarah's yes. been uh, popping into the comments. You can also contact our friend Sarah Penick. Um, and yes. we're going to we're going to roll out with this REI results automation hey i enjoyed it Corey. thanks bro thank, thank you sir I'm, i gotta jump off i gotta go hook on a trailer and get a side by side i'll see y'all bring it to san angelo man we'll go have some fun uh, it's on its way later later are you tired of not hitting your goals with your online marketing then it's time to change your game check it out Obtain lead generation freedom by posting on social media with rea results automation software instead of posting one at a time you can schedule your entire month or year you can spread out your posts to multiple groups any market any industry whatever works best for you if you want to scale all your marketing using social media this is what you need rei results automation software rei results automation software sign up today sign up today hey, hey. that's right folks sign up today the info is in the description of this video and we will see you next time on the roughneck to real estate podcast <laughs>